Okay, here we have a scroll compressor. Uh, I'm really not sure the brand. It's made in Korea. It says Interlink on it. I have not looked that up on the internet yet. Uh, I can show you a model. It's a little screwed up, but it is just AO32KAA. AS, let's get that a little closer. A57LEX. And it's a 410A compressor. Okay. Now this was a locked rotor compressor and let's take this thing apart and see what's inside. Okay this is everything taken off the top all the scrolls and stuff are out. Okay this is a shaft that comes off the motor and you can see it goes around in an eccentric like that. Uh, so that's what all these things do. Now you notice there's a little spot down here. That, I'm going to try to get into that later. I'm not sure what that is. It may have been the reason this thing's broke. But let's take a look at the next part here. Okay, next, I put this little bale in here. Uh, I guess you'd call it a bale. I don't know what you'd call it. It's kind of a slider. It uh, seems to assist in the in the uh, moving part of the scroll okay and here's the uh, moving scroll and it slides into there's little slots right there see those little slots there there for going into that uh, what I'm calling a bale I don't know what it really is now here's the other scroll now it fits down right over the top of the first one fits kind of like that so this top one here this one you can tell is solid because it's mounted here you know which goes on to these uh, mounting points right there uh, so this one is not going to move. Uh, the only one that can move is this one here. And so it moves in an eccentric motion, uh, which draws the gases through. I'm not going to get into just exactly how that works. Copeland actually has a really good uh, uh, animation of this beast. Uh, so that's how the things put together they're very simple um, compressor that's it for how the parts look like uh, next one we'll go into what some of this junk is up here